So you've decided you wanna start streaming. You love video games or whatever it is, the kind of content you wanna create. You've seen the success of live streamers all around the world. You wanna get on the wave. And then you hit the live button. You don't know what to do. This might be new to you and that's okay. Hopefully some of these tips will help you out. Hey everybody, thank you for coming to another video from The Drama King. And before we get started, I just wanna say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Advanced GG. Advanced GG makes the best gaming supplements on the market. They are clinically researched and studied to be effective. They taste great, they work great, and they can help you get into the game. Also, you can use DK Matt at checkout to save yourself some money as well as support this channel at no extra cost to you. So in advance, thank you very much. And of course, as always, if you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, and hit those bells for the alert when you subscribe. And if not, you can always check me in my Twitch chat. I am on there about four days a week. Come in, say hi, just hang out. There's no pressure. Do whatever you want, it's free country. So you've decided like many to take that leap into streaming. I did it. I know how fun and exhilarating and also intimidating it can be. Now, while I am not some huge mega gigantic streamer with a million followers, the one thing I can help with is how to be on camera, how to feel good, how to feel comfortable. Because at the end of the day, while this is kind of just a fun thing to do, it also is a form of entertainment for many, many people. So I'm gonna help you find the balance, find what you need to be that kind of a personality. If you don't know a little bit of my background, I spent the past 10 years or so with WWE traveling around the world, performing for audiences as small as eight people and as large as 65,000. So I do have this experience of working on camera, working in front of crowds, big and small, all types of personalities and everything. So that's what I wanna focus on. So the first thing I'm gonna to say to you is get to know yourself. And I mean that in a few ways. One, I suggest start talking to yourself because at the beginning, as you've probably heard many people say, your chat might either be very small or even zero for a little while while people are looking to discover you. By the way, make sure you get discovered through other platforms. I know that's been said a lot too, but it does help at least bring a couple people to that Twitch channel because Twitch is hard to grow on its own but start talking to yourself even before you go live. Like do it in your daily life. You're gonna seem a little crazy to people, but trust me, it helps. I used to always talk out loud for promos backstage. I would wander back and forth talking to myself, talking to a garage door, just because I, it's better to get those words out of your mouth, out of your head. Sometimes you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do uh, when we play World of Warcraft. I'm gonna describe my character. And then you get on there and it's a little, you kind of freeze and you're not sure what to say. If you're more confident, Talking to yourself, you'll be more confident talking to other people. The other thing I suggest is start recording yourself. Now I know there are tons of streamers and many very successful ones that don't use a face cam. And if that's truly, truly what you want, then I get it, then fine. But you better have some really good gameplay. But most streamers, most people are gonna be successful because of this kind of face-to-face -face contact. There's a more personalized experience that way and people can see your reactions, they can humanize you much, much more. For many people, that's awkward. They're not used to being on camera. That's why I suggest recording yourself so you get used to seeing yourself on camera. You don't have to record it, just have OBS or whatever software you're gonna use to capture your stream open so you can always look and there's, I'm looking at it right now, there's a little monitor of me being recorded in the software. So I get used to looking at myself talking. It's a weird experience at first, but if you can talk to yourself and watch yourself more comfortably, it's not such a jarring experience and it becomes all the more natural. The second thing I'm gonna tell you is now when people do start to come to your channel, whether it's one, 10, or 100, engage the audience. I don't just mean say, hey, thanks for following, or hey, engage in a conversation, especially at the small level. Don't expect people to come in and ask you a bunch of questions and light up chat. You need to engage them. If somebody follows you and says, hey, it's my first time here, don't just be like, hey, thanks for the follow, and back to the game. Talk to them, ask them, hey, thanks for the follow, of course, but how are you? What have you been up to today? How's your day going? Basic, just human conversation, because sometimes when you only have two or three people and two of them are lurking, you might just be talking to that one person. And again, if you can get used to doing that with one person and literally having a little bit of a conversation, then when you have three, four, five, 10, 20 people, and they do start getting more lively in chat, you'll be more and more used to it. People love to be engaged. And even I noticed, when I watch even small streams, 
And again, I'm, I'm used to the performance lifestyle. When I was first getting into this, I would watch even a small streamer who had 20 viewers because they were playing a game I liked. And I would, I would type something in the chat and say, hey. And even I, like, I got a thrill when they would respond to my question, when they would say, hey, when they would say, what's up? And ask how I was. There's something fun just about someone on a screen humanizing you right back, even though you're on the other side of a chat board at a computer. Make sure you absolutely engage. And lastly, the most important thing, and this is gonna be kind of vague, but I'll explain. Find your superpower. I know, right? I'm not talking about shooting lasers out of your eyes or controlling the weather. Some people are the loud, brash, yelling and screaming, oh, here we go, 15 subs, let's go. Everybody, thank you so much, we're gonna do this and that. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Some people are that person. Some people are really, really detail-oriented and can explain everything they're doing in a game. If they're playing chess, here's why I moved this, because I think they're gonna move that. And, and they, they enrapture people by being the detail guy. Every little move is explained. That's people watch it almost for education. Me, for example, I'm not the funny guy. I've always wanted to be the funny guy, but that's not my strength, is not to be the, the, the clown entertaining guy. Sincerity is my superpower. I feel like I can connect with a lot of people, just talk bluntly, honestly, and with a lot of compassion and conviction. That's my superpower. I do that better than I do tell jokes. I do that better than I get loud and freak out and rage out and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm not that streamer. But I'm the guy who's gonna try to, who's gonna connect with you, who's gonna make you feel heard, welcome, and you know, in a safe space, and all that kind of stuff. I'm very, very good at the down to earth kind of thing. That's my strength. So find yours. It can be anything. You have something inside you that you do very, very well, especially when it comes to interacting with people. Everybody does, even when it feels like you don't. Please trust me. I was the shyest kid on planet Earth growing up. Took a lot of things to get me out of my shell, but a lot of it has stayed the same. This that I'm talking about right now has always been there. It was hard to show it to people because I was so shy, but it was there and that kept me going. And there's something in you too. So I know these are basic, these are kind of one-on-one, but these are the areas that I know. And I hope they help you when you get on there, hit that live button and have the time of your life with you and your community. Good luck.